condom on. <laughs> I'm serious. Last time I didn't put a condom on something. Kind of got pregnant. Just saying. <laughs> And, you know, at this point, I put condoms on everything. <laughs> Microphones, toilet seats. I even put them on my tampons at this point. <laughs> when things get a little too close, a little too close. I will be your black girl for the evening. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I'm a little lighter than what you expected, but trust me, I am authentically black. I can prove it. I can. Guess how old I am. It's okay. <laughs> Wrong. Guess how old I am. Don't worry, I'm not gonna beat your ass for that. I'm 45. Woo! <laughs> Black don't crack, baby. Black don't crack. I'm a single mom of a six-year-old. Oh, y'all ain't gotta clap for that shit. <laughs> I know y'all don't like kids. It's okay. I know that. But I also know, if I was to say I'm a mom of a puppy dog, y'all would have been like, oh my God! That's amazing. She's so brave. How does she do it all? I know. The only reason I tell people that I have a six-year-old kid because it's just a cool way of me saying that six years ago I had sex with a guy with we pull out game. <laughs> but I love my daughter, I really do. But at one point I was concerned that she was becoming the B word, y'all. Mm -hmm. A bully. <laughs> Not a bitch, I just give her some Adderall, she's a bitch. A bully, y'all! <laughs> a bully! What happened was, I was checking in with the lady who keeps her, Miss Jackie. So I was like, Miss Jackie, how did Isla do today? She said, oh, well, Isla had a little bit of an incident with Lauren. I said, oh, what happened? She said, well, Lauren was playing with a doll. Isla wanted it. So Isla just came up and she just took it. I said, she took it. She just took it. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. So what happened then? She said, well, Lauren started crying. I said, oh, my God. Lauren started crying. Well, it sounds like that Lauren girl needs to toughen the fuck up. <laughs> and she's crying now over someone taking her doll. What's she gonna do when someone takes her man? <laughs> it's gonna happen, y'all. This is Hollywood. If Halle Berry can't keep a man, <laughs> what you think this Lauren girl gonna do? <laughs> My daughter is out here preparing this girl for the real world. And I got to get the pushback about that shit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Marlena, don't condone bullying. And I'm not condoning it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm championing it. Oh. These dolls are expensive, guys. Come on. Every doll that my kid takes from your kid is one less doll. I have to buy her. I'm a single mom, guys. You ever heard of the American Girl doll? Oh, she costs like $200. She does. And you would think for $200 she could what? Walk? <laughs> Maybe talk? At least piss on herself, right? <laughs> you know what she does for $200? Not a damn thing. <laughs> At least when we were kids, dolls had a decency to act like they were gonna go to sleep, like the eyes roll back in head, pop back open, roll back in head, pop back open. <laughs> At this point, for two hundred dollars, I'm willing to buy her a Chucky doll. <laughs> Because at least I can get somebody murdered with that thing. <laughs> it can earn its keep. Imagine you have your little Chucky doll at home. Come home to it. Hey, little Chucky. Get it out of the cage. Got a little list of souls for you to steal. <laughs> and over outside. Good luck stealing souls, baby. <laughs> Number one name on the list is Baby Daddy. All right, y'all. That's what I'm